this lesson, you will learn how to track backlog items on wasted time or how you can manage backlog items which are stuck in a specific phase for a specific release. This is also the tip of the week. So let's start with the backlog module. So in the backlog module, I will now go first to the backlog items tab. You can see all my backlog items in total 521. For this specific uh, workspace, um, I can see it in this grid view. And I would like to have a filter set for a specific release, which maybe I'm currently working on. So let's set the filter. Here on the top, you will see the release toolbar, which allows you to select one or multiple releases in order to set the filter on the current view. So let's set it to Q3 release frame. And now what I will do is I will look for all the user stories and defects which are either opened or in progress in this current release. So I can set here on the right hand side using the quick filters the current um, view for me. And I would like to know now those five user stories and different uh, defects I have here, how long they are in this current progress. So let's collapse this one and select under choose columns the days in phase field. So this is a field which shows you exactly how long specific items has been uh, stuck uh, in a phase. So this uh, user story, you can see this is a demo data. However, 716 days, these user stories are staying in, in progress. So it's always the current phase which is counted. So if I would switch the phase of the first user story, it should basically start uh, recalculating it. So let's do it to demonstrate. And you can see it has started and set this field to zero again because now it is in a new phase where the counter has reset it and tomorrow it will become one, two, and so on. So this is a very nice way to identify items which are stuck in a phase. So now I could possibly go in and look for who is managing the item, who is the owner, as well as um, what is the team working on. Yeah, so maybe I need to speak to the team and find out why this user story is stuck in this phase for so long. Um, so basically this is what I can uh, set here. And um, I can use this uh, filter also, uh, this field also to uh, order the view. So I can sort it basically from here. A scanning or a descanning. So this will show and filter my whole view based on the right context. Um, and this helps me to identify waste uh, on different backlog items or if um, any kind of bottlenecks exist in my uh, current project.